Rollins, you peasant! And all hail King Booker! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Houston, Texas. Weighing in at 251 pounds, King Booker! Michael, it's actually King Booker! Byron, keep the King's name out of your mouth. You're not even worthy of being the court jester. I think he just waved at me. Je what a regal gentleman. These peasants don't even realize how blessed they are to be in the presence of the king. I wonder if we'll see a royal spit rooney Booker T, a Hall of Fame career, one of the most inspirational men in the history of WWE, from a tough upbringing to royalty. And also the master of the spin of Rudy. You really know how to ruin a moment, Byron. We're talking serious stuff here. What I thought it We're talking Hall of Fame career. We're talking the man's credentials, and he's now a king. He's King Booker! You realize Queen Charmel may be the greatest queen ever in history, right? Absolutely. She's more beautiful than Cleopatra. I hope he sends you to the guillotine. Well, I don't say that. From Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 227 Sounds pounds. Sounds to me, guys, like this Chris crowd is ready to get this Jericho. night started. And they're not the only ones, Cole. It seems to me that these superstars want nothing more than to get their hands on one another. Two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one on one matchup. Aside from Saxton's oh. commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. The constant reinvention of Chris Jericho has been what's kept him one of WWE's most enduring superstars. Look, I get it. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to kiss up the Y2J, Saxton. But the fact is, your name's on the list of Jericho is permanent. I thought it was just a rumor. Beautiful. Look at this athleticism. <laughs> oh, man. You don't see him tossed around like that very often. <laughs> oh, oh, man.
He'd be wise to stay right there. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. But not for a second do I expect him to back down now. He just has to make sure this oh, doesn't man. get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging him away. That's what he wants to avoid here. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But that can obviously all change here. Corey, Chris Jericho simply oozes talent. So much so, in fact, that the man is a rock star both in and out of the ring. And for the avoidance of doubt, ladies and gentlemen, Cole means that literally. Not only is Y2J the man in the ring, but he also is the front man for his own heavy metal band. Right to the face. If this match heads outside, things can go south real quick. Let's hope not. As Corey mentioned, when Jericho is not competing at WWE events, there's a good chance he's touring with his band. Given how dedicated he is to both, I would say Y2J is one of the busiest guys in all of sports entertainment. Hey, you don't become the Ayatollah of rock and roll by accident. It takes hard work to be as successful as Chris Jericho. Stop pulling uh, leg snap! Well, that's gonna hurt. Tear your hamstring. He's looking a little off balance. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. Oh, man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. He has to be disappointed in this performance. He really is so much better than what he's shown so far tonight. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, it's not going to be good. This is not going to be attacking the head now. He's in control. That slam put him in a bad way, guys. Chris Jericho is on the wrong end of an offensive campaign. Simply put, he's in trouble and needs to find a way out. Back in the ring again. Up and over with a suplex. Jericho. Bruno Lyons saw that action. Here's the cover by Jericho. The superstar picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. Yeah, but I don't think his opponent is happy about losing here. I mean, he's got to be humiliated and embarrassed. He thought he was going to win this match. Oh, well, I kind of did too.